All right, guys, just a quick video here to uh, show you how I want you to install the new Battle Station update. We do the file after we open the MT4 file, open data folder. Okay, once we're in here, uh, probably best to shut your MT4 down. Okay, uh, so you'll have this file downloaded here. What I want you to do is open it, and what I've done is uh, arranged the the internal file structure here. So all you have to do is click and drag the contents of the zip file into the MQL4 folder, drag and drop, let go. Since I've already done it, uh, it's already said, do you want to replace them? So in my case, yes. And it'll probably be a good idea to delete your old battle station as well. So if we go into MQL4, it will be in the indicators area and you'll have to find it in here. Here's my old one here. It's called the price action battle station, whereas the new one's just called battle station. So we just delete the price action battle station. It's gone and that will um, avoid any confusion when you're in your platform. So I'll open go markets again. Okay. And once we're back in, uh, cause I've got like 30 charts loaded. The battle station is going to take a little bit to load. The MT4 will seem a little non-responsive at first. You just got to let it collect all its data. Nothing really I can do about that. See, it frees up eventually depending on your computer speed. So then we'll go to the indicators and it will be under this new sort of sub tab called the Forex Sky tools. And just to make it a little bit easier to find. And there it is battle station. So you, you can just click and drag that on the chart. Let go if you want. Um, whatever you want to do, you can do that. You can double click and that's how you get it inside your MT4. You also have to make sure that tools options, uh, the experts, we need to make sure that we have the allow DLL imports on. And then when we actually drag it onto the chart, we also need to go to common and make sure allow DLL imports is ticked and allow external external experts imports ticked. I'm not sure if we actually really need that one, but just turn it on uh, in case. And that's the quick and easy way to get the new battle station into your MT4 system.